That. Yeah, that's perfect. You just try this and then tell me what you prefer. Yeah, that's better. Just getting a, just get this it is, just, I've put it at a very slow shutter speed, so that's why it might look a bit blur. A bit Blurry. trippy. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit psychedelic. Ah, oh, look at that. Peter, we could go to infrared. Uh, we could try that. I mean, spotlight-wise, this is as much as we can get. I'm already yeah. getting all the bounce as well off the water. And I don't want to go closer to them now because we might actually disturb them. Well, you know what? Let's... Uh, let's try and get a bit closer to them. Let's try that. Without getting too close, Maybe just closer to make the light more effective. If that doesn't work, we'll swap to infrared. Yeah, well, the light, yeah. yeah we'll, get, we'll just go park down on this little island here. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, of course, Jan, if you can see it nicely from that side, have a look. We're just going to move the car around. Maybe um, again, you've got the benefit of being able to look from different places. Let's have a quick squeeze at this, and then Jan will take you to those rhinos from the water hole camera. This is that younger bull, or shall I say the older younger bull, the one that was doing all the backward pushing and back leg kicking. I'm wondering more and more if it's not maybe also Somali's offspring. Maybe that's her first calf. This one is again. Can't always be quoted in exactly the age, but I would say probably 10, something in that region. 10, 12 years old at the most, not more than 12. Probably closer to 10. And if we guess her age, it's always difficult with females because a lot of them don't get that big. But um, I would say she's probably in her 30s already. So it's possible that... She's had this car first 10, 12 years ago. She might even only be in her 20s and it's still possible. So, it makes sense. She's got all her offspring with her. And if I can tell you something else is interesting, and all three of them are bulls. So she's obviously breeding a little rugby team for one day. Sorry, mister. Ooh, hold on, I'm not quite sure what's down here. that side we're just trying to get a slightly different angle here what's it evening oh there we go I'm hoping we'll get some nice reflected light onto them as well Front tires right in the water almost. Oh, look at that. Just to keep you updated with that bit of a weird light in the background, it's not aliens. That's uh, one of the outside lights on the deck of room one at Boyatella. Right here by the lodge. Now you have to wonder, just in Sabi Sands there's many many water holes, or if you think of Kruger in general, even more, you have to wonder what's happening in all those water holes right now, at this moment. Just where we're sitting, we've got rhinos busy moving off, some amazing elephant, we've seen some incredible behavior from them, but just think of it, all those water holes in the world in wild places. All the different animals, giraffe and lion, elephant, other countries even, other species. 
one last rub. Can't say no to a good log. Guys, um, I just think we're just going to get ready for the infrared camera. Jan is probably, I'm not even sure if he's on us at the moment, I think he's with us. Uh, he's going to take you back to the tree camera again and have a look, see if you can have a last look at those rhinos. We're just going to get ready with our infrared camera and then um, it looks like they're slowly moving off. We're not going to pursue them more. Be nice and peaceful. We're going to let them enjoy the evening like that. And we might go have another look at Somali and them if they're still visible. But uh, I think just to go for gold this evening, we're going to make an effort and go look around quite soon. Use this night drive part. See if we can't maybe find, uh, find Karula. Or if you want James, Karula and Marula. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you just now.